All right, we got this big ash tree. You can see that one branch is alive. Bucket truck set up here. Got a tree up there. It's hanging out over this hickory over here. There's a maple on that side and another hickory over here. Some pretty tough, tough branches to get to. There's one lead here on the right that's going straight up and through that. And that hickory there, it might be tough to see it from here. One lead here on this, straight, moving straight up through that hickory there. There's another tough one to get. It's right over this other hickory. Can you see that out there? And then that guy going out the back here. Out there. It's gonna be a little, a little tricky. We're gonna see how it goes. I even brought the GRCS out today, first time I've had it out for a tree like this in years. All the idea right now is to strip all this stuff that's out over the left side here, then come down and put the GRCS on the tree to remove the truck. set up we make these two cuts in this dead ash let me throw over the hickory here let them hang and then we got another one block set up here another block set up there and we got a, a ring there as a redirect and then we got the grcs or we have the porter wrap on the back of the truck there so let's see how this one goes <laughs> Kevin, start cranking. You'll, you'll know when that thing pops off of there. Now 
now you know. So one of the issues we got on this big limb here, obviously it's out over the hickory. I had to use a pole to set the rig in here because I'm up against that lead over there. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna start chipping, I'm gonna shut this thing down, man. He's, he's, he's yanking on a GRCS. Lifting it up a little bit. Crank it, Kevin. That's lifted. All right. Yeah, keep cranking. Goes. Try it, see what happens. All right, hold that, Kevin. Ho. All right. There you go. You should have it. Come right off that hip in a pretty way. Uh, that was two of the main ones I was worried about, but this right side's also it's gonna be tricky. Alright, we got this boy here. And uh I took that other wing off and so just got two blocks up top. But I'm thinking on this guy, I'm just gonna cut a real narrow steep notch going out that way. So by the time it closes this thing's definitely well away from me, and then before it hit the, the tips hit that hickory. Bomb should swing out underneath the block there. We'll see how that goes. You guys are gonna have to get on that GRCS again. I'm just gonna cut the notch for now. Lifting it out of that hickory if you need that. Keep thinking of time though. Let her down, see what happens. What? Let her down a little bit, take some wraps off. One of the reasons I did was a real, did a real careful job of cutting all his stubs off. Keep going. Keep going. Right, right. See how that was, I didn't hang up on that stub, that was right. crucial. Right. 
There it is. Balanced, worked out. Hickory's tough. Probably didn't break a branch in that hickory. That's beautiful. All right, so we got two blocks. You can see them. And go way out on this branch. All right, hold that. Now the question is to rip cut it or not. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a score cut way, way down here and then rip cut it up high. And, and by the time it rips between the two of them, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Crank a little. Crank it up a little. Alright. Hickory is tough stuff. I don't see a broken branch over there, man. That's pretty cool. Guys got that. Looks like that. And what do we got left of this tree? That guy there is going to be kind of tricky. I'm going to take some weight off right over my head if I can reach it. Got to make sure that's not a danger to anybody there on the ground, so I got to go down and get it. But that helps. Right there. It's all the brush after that's all down the wood. Alright, based on how tough that hickory is, I think I'm just gonna take this out in one. This stuff is definitely gonna be slamming into that hickory. Mostly just trying to protect the uh jap maple here. Took the top off these guys, so those are the only types of tip there that can go. I think they're all gonna be on the hickory. While he's cranking, you can see the setup. Two blocks. You gotta redirect down there that orange thing. And the GRCS. These tips, I took the right this side off it, so all those tips are out there. They're definitely gonna go slamming into that hickory. But it's been so tough so far, I don't, we don't lost a branch on it. I'm not even worried about it. It's gonna be a lot of swing, too. Pretty. I don't know what it's to tell you. I look like a ballet coming down and just sweeping right off that hickory without damaging the thing. The size of that monster. Okay. Liking it. Alright, got that guy there and there it is. It's gonna swing. Uh, block, bull rope, tied it to the trailer, not the best setup. We're gonna pull yank the trailer sideways. And this guy's coming down. There it is. Hit. I scored the log there. I was worried about that hitting the, getting the driveway. But we had all these logs here. And uh, I knew she was going to roll downhill. I slide down the hill. Hit and slid. We had enough of the hill over there, enough of the logs. Keep it all the way up the driveway, off the driveway, everywhere you look. Plunge cut. Got a box. Center plunge, whatever you want to call that. Two tabs. Those are supposed to go. Left uh, a little more wood on the uphill side. And it's going to be good. There it 
There it is.